I might just add, Senator, I, before coming back to Ireland to take on the role with Airbnb, I worked in Australia uh, for Airbnb as well, and we introduced a registration system in New South Wales. But what New South Wales did first was they decided what kind of a short-term tourism industry they wanted and what was good stock, what was, where do they want it, what kind of, they wanted farm stays. Deputy Cannon, to your point, was a big thing. They wanted to encourage farm stays. They wanted people out of cities. So they created the framework for all of that first and had a good, like, they had huge stakeholder engagement across the country, talked to short-term hosts, talked to industry, talked to the, the equivalent of ITIC and, and, and our self-catering federation, got that, locked it in, and then they brought in registration to make sure that everyone was applying by the rules. Talking about registration, I think, in the absence of having you know, decided what we, what, what we want, um, I think is, is a, bit, a little bit of why we're, we're, we're at this loggerheads right now. It's because we haven't decided what kind of a tourism industry we want. And there are hosts all over the country. And as you say, Deputy Griffin, and thank you for the welcome, uh, you know, there are people with, who've converted granny flats who have uh, built a house beside a, an old house and they've done it up, it's on the curtilage. These are all showing up on Airbnb's entire home listings. But they're never going to be long-term rentals. And I think we need to solve that. One, one other issue I would say, we just talk about planning. One of the huge benefits of short-term rentals, and Deputy Cannon, this is like, this is the, I think you got the, the nub of it. People try it out. They say, I'll give it a go for a weekend and see how it goes. And then if the weekend goes well, they do it the weekend after. And do the weekend after, then they might do it for the summer. And that's, that's how it starts. If we have prohibitive, kind of, you know, if you have to go into Galway County Council and do your form and pay your money and talk to your plan, no one's going to do that just to try it out for the weekend. So you need to kind of, you need to create it, you need to create it in a way that ordinary people can just dip their toe in the water and see if they like it without having to go through the planning requirements, uh, without having to go through that. And if it gets to a certain level, perhaps, you know, it changes. But you need to make it easy for people to do it. And if you want, if you want the sharing economy that, you know, everyone says they want, that has to be easy for ordinary people to get. And navigating county councils and navigating planning forms and, uh, you know, putting up your site notice and so forth. And we all know how difficult that is, you know, the, the, the normalist of circumstances just will, will strangle your casual people participating in the industry.